All right, one of the big questions that we get uh, pretty frequently with the M2 and also with the brand new G4 is how many shirts can I get from a set of ink or a set of ink cartridges? And you'll get a variety of answers from us uh, because it depends. These are, these are inkjet printers. The G4 is an inkjet printer as well. And what that means is that it only sprays the amount of ink that's required to create each color. So it combines a certain amount of white, cyan, yellow, magenta, and black in order to produce the design itself. And of course, that combination varies a great deal from one design to the next. So what we'll sometimes say is you can send me a design and I can tell you maybe how many shirts you can get or we'll come up with an average number and that's not going to be accurate for you. So I thought I would show you what it's like to try to figure out how many of a particular design you can get out of a set of G4 uh, Kodak Kodacolor ink cartridges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this DTG heart. Now, one thing when you're manipulating these graphics, you can resize them in real time. So it's difficult to get the same size again and again. This one that you're looking at here is 10.4 by 10 inches. We got as close to a 10 by 10 as we could. It's a little bit different the last time I printed it. So our numbers will be a little bit different as well, but you are definitely gonna see how to figure this out. So the first thing I'm going to do is something called rip only. What this is going to do is it's going to give us an idea of the cost, the total cost of ink in printing the shirt. Now you can see that the job cost is just around 84 cents. And for the next level, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna to go to job properties and costs. So what we've done is we've programmed in the cost of a liter of ink. If you are able to buy the G4 ink set by the liter, which you can't, you get it in 200 milliliter cartridges, but it's just the way the software works. It would be $360 a liter. And the first thing I wanna point out is to make this specific design, you can see the difference in the amount of each color. I'm not gonna count the number of zeros, but you can see this one is three zero, this one is six four four, eight four four. Um, the, the white is going to be by far the most usage because it lays down white over the whole design. Uh, and it tells you the total amount of ink and the total cost uh, for that particular ink set. So now I'm looking at, I've got, in this design, I've got well under a penny of black, I've got two cents of cyan, I've got six cents of magenta, et cetera. So you can see just when you look at the percentages or look at the amount of ink for this design, you can see how all of these cartridges are not going to run out at the same time. So what I did was, is I actually put it into a, put it into a Google sheet so we could figure this out. So this is the cold SE heart, 10.4 inches by 10 inches. Um, it's in the higher quality mode, which is 600 by 1200, it's gonna use a little bit more ink this way, but I want you to look at these numbers, the, the amount of black, the amount of cyan and magenta, the ink usage in milliliters, and then I did a little division. So if you were only going to print out this design onto a black shirt, you would be able to print about 194 shirts before you had to replace the two white cartridges. There are two white cartridges, so the RIP software is going to give you the usage on, on both at the same time. Okay, so you're gonna print 194 of these before you have to swap out the white. Then by the time you get up to magenta, you're gonna to have to swap out the magenta. Then by the time you get up to this yellow here, you can see the number of designs in a cartridge. So for this one, for example, you could do 64,000 of these before you had to place, replace a black. You could do um, 3,000 before you had to replace a cyan. You could do 1,167 before you had to replace magenta, et cetera. So I've kind of described it here. So you would replace the white ink after both cartridges of the white ink after 194 shirts. Um, and then you would be replacing those six times before you had to replace the magenta. And then you would replace, um, you would print another 1142 shirts before you would have to replace the yellow. And then you'd be replacing the whites another five times. So, so you can see if you're printing a dark shirt, you're gonna go through white cartridges more than anything else. And that there's no real answer for how many of these can I get from a 
set of ink. What you should really uh, focus on though is this total cost. It's 84 cents for the ink on this shirt. How many you can get out of a cartridge is not as relevant as how much it takes, uh, how much money you're gonna spend in printing an individual shirt. Now I did the same thing with this, um, with this design on a white shirt. You'll notice a big difference here because you do not have to lay down white ink. What you're gonna get when you do a design like this, most of the time, the white ink on a dark shirt is gonna equal the usage of all of the other inks. With a white shirt, generally you're not using white ink. You'll see you've got a, a, a zero line here. So with this design onto a white shirt, you're going to, um, you're gonna be able to get 1,070 shirts printed before you have to replace a cartridge of ink. And that is going to be magenta. You're gonna get um, a uh, 1,900 shirts printed, 2,000 shirts printed, 1,200 shirts printed before you have to replace each one of these colors. And I'm gonna post the, this uh, spreadsheet uh, on the video, I'm just going to leave it here for you for a while. And if you want to take a closer look at it, you're welcome to just uh, click somewhere below and reach out to us and I'll get it to you. But again, the important number here really is that this shirt is going to cost you less than 20, 20 cents in ink to print. So even 84 cents seems, seems inexpensive to me. Most of these shirts are going to go from between 20 and $35, depending on what you're printing and what your market is. Um, the white shirts can usually go for the same and you're gonna spend almost nothing on ink. So uh, you can use the RIP Pro software uh, that you just saw us use to cost your jobs in exactly the same way. You can add pre-treat costs, you can even plug in labor, things like that to give you a true cost per shirt, um, including production time. Uh, but what you should know is that there's, there's no great way to tell you how many shirts I'm gonna be able to get out of a set of ink or a set of cartridges. Um, but if you take a look at that and focus on that cost, that total cost for ink per shirt, then uh, you're going to make a lot of money with the DTG G4.